What they don't know is that each of these pots contains four different moisturizers, <laughs> ranging from one of the cheapest to one of the most expensive on the market. Which one do you prefer? Oh, mate, to be honest, I can't really tell the difference between any of them. Yeah. It feels like moisturizer. So it turns out A is 40 bucks a bottle, B is about 10 bucks a bottle, C is $700 a bottle, and D is only a few bucks a bottle. We've brought our dermatologists together and they're going to give us their expert opinion on moisturising. Hello. Hi, Hi. everyone. Hi. What should we be using? This can be quite confusing, can't it? C is a really expensive one, so this is $670. So I'm probably wiping about $50 worth on right now. <laughs> yes, well, interestingly, this very expensive one has a whole range of perfumes and you are paying a lot of money for, for that and also if you had very sensitive skin these perfumes might actually be very irritating to the skin. Right. Yeah so just because you pay a lot for a moisturiser doesn't mean it's necessarily the right one for your skin. Yes. So this is your standard over-the-counter petroleum jelly and that'll do just as good a job as some of these more expensive bottles, is that correct? Well, theoretically, that's a great moisturiser, but it is it doesn't feel the best. It's not an elegant product. I mean, it just mm. you stick to everything and you shine, and so... Yeah. Yes. yes. So it's this balance it. between doing the job and actually getting people to use it. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. Yeah. It's how it feels, isn't it, as yes. well, you know? So I guess, mm. is there a take-home message here in terms of what we should be looking for in a moisturiser? Something with a base that contains a, a glycerin or a glycerol or a paraffin is often best. But really, the less fragrance, the less number of funny ingredients that you can't understand the names of, that's the really important.